This session will be an introduction into creating netlists using LT Spice. First of all, in order to use LT Spice, you're going to need to download the LT Spice program. You can easily download the program. A uh, simple Google search for LT Spice should turn up this link here for the LT Spice for Linear Technologies. Clicking on that link will take you to the web page where you can download LT Spice version 4 right here. So depending on your operating system, if you have a Windows or a Mac, you can download the appropriate version and that will give you the software you need in order to finish out uh, throughout these tutorials. Once you've installed LT Spice 4, you'll see an icon on your desktop, something like this. Uh, the first thing you need to do in order to start creating Netlist is to actually create the circuit file first. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop just to have a location to keep the files. Name this LT Spice Netlist. I'm going to uh, open this folder and right, by right clicking I'm going to create a new text document. Uh, notice I have the uh, system set up to display the extension right here of, as a .txt and I'm going to call this netlist1 and I'm going to change the extension to a CIR extension. You'll get a warning and go ahead and confirm that. Uh, the net the .cir is set to open with the LT Spice program. If you do not have your Windows system set up to display the extension of the files, you can change that setting by going to Organize, Folder and Search Options, and under View, you want to select or deselect hide extensions for known file types. So take that check mark off and click OK. The next thing you can do is open that up with a double click and you will get a warning that you do have an empty net list. You can OK that and you are now in the edit mode for the net list. The circuit here on the right is the circuit that we are going to create a net list for initially. And so I can start that out by noting that each node in the circuit is going to have to be designated with a given node designation. Now what I have done here is I have just designated each node with a number. And so the top node here is node 1, this node here is node 2, this is node 3 and notice that the node designated as the reference ground node is node 0 and that will always be the case in a LT SPICE circuit that the ground node, there always has to be a ground node, but the ground node is designated as node 0. You do not have to stick to numbers for your node designations. You can use uh, any combination of characters and numbers. You could have node A, node B, and so forth. In order to create the netlist, I will have a line in my netlist file for each element in the circuit. So I'll have a line designating the voltage source. I'll have a line designated e designating each one of these resistors. So I can start that out with uh, V1, and that designates a voltage source. Since my net, since my uh, name here begins with a V that does indicate a voltage source. The next sec segment of that line is for the positive terminal or the positive node connection for that voltage source. So I'll simply put a 1 there to designate that the positive terminal of the 12 volt source is connected to node 1. I'll put a space and then a 0 because the negative terminal of the 12 volt source is connected to node 0 or the reference ground. Follow that by another space and a 12 designating the uh, voltage of the voltage source. I can follow that with a semicolon. Anything t 
type past the semicolon indicates a comment and so just something like uh, 12 volt source uh, is an acceptable comment there. I'll go down to the next line and then I can enter the resistor values in any order. A resistor is designated by any element whose name begins with an R. So R1, I will designate that as between node 1 and node 2 with a value of 10. And so I will continue designating each one of these resistors. R2, I will designate as the 20 ohm resistor. And it is connected between node 1 and node 3. It has a value of 20 ohms. R3, I'll designate it as the 7.5 ohm resistor. Connected between node 2 and node 3. R4 I'll designate as the 30 ohm resistor connected between node 2 and node 0. And then R5 I'll designate as the 5 ohm resistor connected between node 3 and node 0. Like that. You will notice that the first line of the net list is uh, shown in green. Green generally uh, designates a comment in a net list. The first line of a net list is generally regarded as a comment, so I need to uh, take that off the first line. And usually what uh, you will do is designate your um, first lines as comments. The asterisk also indicates a comment. And so, like that, you can, you can designate your comments beginning with asterisk. Generally, an asterisk is a first character on the line followed by the comment, and the semicolon is used to indicate an end of line comment, although uh, um, LTSpice does not uh, require you to conform to those um, restrictions. At this point, we've completely entered the information about this circuit and we have to indicate to LT Spice what type of analysis that needs to be done. We desire to do a DC analysis, so the designation for that is dot .op. That tells LT Spice to do an operating point analysis. So we will designate that with a comment. DC analysis is what we are desiring to do. At this point, once we have the net list, it's generally a good idea to go ahead and save that. Make sure you have a, uh, it saved. And then we can execute a sim the simulation by clicking the Run icon right here. So what we get is the result of our simulation. We will notice that uh, V1, the voltage at 1, is designated as 12 volts, and that is accurate because the 12 volt source is connected between the reference ground node and node 1, so that is correct at 12 volts. V2, the voltage at this point here, is 6.39 volts. V3 is 3.79 volts, this voltage here. And we also have device currents. Now it's important to note that the device currents, any current actually, that LT Spice calculates is always calculated according to the passive convention. Therefore, any current given is going to be the current flowing into the terminal on the device designated as the positive terminal. So let's look at our net list. For example, if we look at R1, the very first terminal listed for the resistor is node 1 here. If we look at R2, the very first terminal resist listed is also terminal 1 right here. 
and so the current for R1 is listed as 0.56 amps and so that tells us there's 0.56 amps flowing from node 1 to node 2 through resistor 1 from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Likewise for resistor 2 there's 0.41 amps flowing from top to bottom node 1 to node 3. Resistor 3, the 7.5 ohm resistor, since it was designated as two, uh, node 2 for the positive terminal and node 3 for the negative terminal, then the current that you will see is actually this current designated on the circuit as IA, and so that current for R3 is 0.347 amps and that's flowing from left to right since we did designate terminal 2 as the positive and terminal 3 as the negative. In general, resistors are not polarized. However, for LT SPICE, the polarity that you enter does determine the direction of the current that will be calculated. You will also notice that the current given for the source, the voltage source, it has a negative sign. That's because, again, we are using the passive convention and we are, and LT SPICE is giving you the current flowing into the positive terminal. And so uh, that current flowing into the positive terminal is actually a negative value. So the actual current being sourced by the 12 volt source from, from the positive terminal flowing out of the positive terminal is a positive 0.971 amps. But again, LT SPICE is always going to use the passive convention and so that current shown here is the current flowing into the positive terminal of the 12 volt source.